When we um, talk about the level of education in this country, it's been constantly going up. We have more and more people graduating from college and uh, this of course is a very good thing. I think education is a very important part of uh, American competitiveness uh, in the world society. So we can then say, well, how much science should be part of the uh, education system? How much is useful to a typical uh, uh, American citizen who really isn't a working scientist? And I think the sort of thing that people should know is uh, that evolution is occurring all around us right now and that viruses evolve. The AIDS virus is evolving. The avian flu virus has a potential for evolving into a very bad infectious disease, uh, producing a pandemic. Uh, mosquitoes build up a tolerance to uh, pesticides that we can use. Uh, these are all evolutionary processes, and if the American public knows about evolution, they're going to be able to vote intelligently when these kinds of uh, things come up uh, in, in, in a, a proposition such as we have in here in California. That is to say, uh, should we limit spraying of uh, pesticides uh, in uh, the fields? Should we limit herbicides because of the development of certain kinds of uh, weed, weed resistance to herbicides? Should we allow feedlots to have antibiotics uh, in, the, uh, in the feed that these animals are getting? Because we know that, that bacteria will evolve a resistance. So these are the sorts of uh, basic kinds of things that I think the American public should realize. Evolution is happening all around us. We had better watch out because evolution can turn around and bite us as it has with drug resistance. I think that Americans need to understand evolution in order to be scientifically literate. And there is a great deal of problem in getting evolution taught in the uh, kindergarten through 12th grade uh, level. And there's a problem with evolution being taught properly at the university level. There's an awful lot of university classes that should be teaching evolution that just sort of don't get around to it. And uh, so the people who become the teachers for the next generation of K-12 students also don't get evolution. Um, plus, in, the, in popular culture, there's a lot of confusion about evolution. Evolution is often distorted in terms of our movies or plays or, or literature or whatever. So in general, Americans don't have a very clear understanding of what evolution is at all. And if you don't really understand evolution, you're not going to be scientifically literate. And I think that's a problem because there are an awful lot of, of issues that um, Americans need to make decisions about today that involve science and some even specifically involving evolution. And unless we have a scientifically literate population, we're not going to be making those decisions in the best way or even electing the uh, representatives who will make those decisions for us. One cannot understand the modern world without the theory of evolution, and I mean that literally, because we live in a technical world where activities like medicine, activities like agriculture, uh, activities like many that take place in, in, uh, in industry, you know, nanotechnology and others, can only be understood as being the outcomes or related to the evolutionary process. If they do not understand that evolution occurs, they are not going to understand epidemics. They are not going to make sense, as very often our political leaders don't make sense of the why the avian flu may become human flu, and how do we deal with that. So. Um, the modern world is a technological world, and what we need is to increase the scientific education of uh, the new generations, not to jeopardize it with uh, uh, ideas that are wrong, or simply by not teaching them 
concepts and, and ideas that are very central to human life. 